Hello yeah. and welcome back to Let's Indeed. Play Baldur's Not Gate. On the last episode, we saved Dinah Hare from the clutches of the gnolls that had kidnapped her. And now that we've done Minsk's, Minsk is, Minsk's side quest to rescue Dinah Hare, I have decided that Minsk and Dinah Hare are the characters that are done. not going to be staying with us permanently. Because, as I said, this party right here is the canon party of the game, but I want to take one of the characters that my character can romance, plus I really like this particular character. So, I'll let Mintz keep his armor. Dinah here, I'm not letting him keep anything. So we'll go pick up this character. And then we'll say goodbye to Minsk and Dinah Hair. And that will leave one slot open in our party. And uh, I haven't made up my mind who I'm going to use for the final party member. As I said, I want to interact with every party member in the game. But that doesn't mean I'm going to take every party member in the game for a little bit. Okay, she's right up here. But I'm going to do a quick save. Just in case we don't survive what's about to happen. You! Hey, you! Yes, you! I don't see anybody else around here. A little help, please? Of course. What do you need? There's bandits. Vicious, magic bandits. They must have gone to advanced bandit school or something. They're trying to capture me. As you can tell, she's a fully voiced character, which means she was added for the enhanced edition of the game. Very well, I shall defend you from these bandits. My hero. Now where are the rest of your men hiding? <laughs> I'll be honest, I was betting on you having a legion of soldiers because you'll need it and... Oh goodness, they're here! So, you would try to hide from us behind this unfortunate fool. Your cowardice proves as deadly as your reckless magic. You're the one trying to capture me! And I still don't know what you want! So I'd rather not let it happen. Get out of here before me and my new friends decide to eject a fist into your mouth. You there. Stand aside and give me the girl. Surely you won't risk your life for a stranger. I won't let you harm her. By what right do you hunt this woman? By my right as a wizard of Fae. We must study her anomalous power. Whether or not she comes willingly. What anomalous powers are you talking about? I shouldn't be surprised that one as uneducated as you cannot spot a wild mage when you see one. The spells cause more harm than good. We must extract her secrets and, of course, prevent her from harming herself or others. I have said enough. Hand her over. No. She is with me. If you wish to die for this wild mageling, so be it. Away with you, you pompous creep! What? Not again. Kendall, where did you go? We can't let her escape. Slaughter them all, and we'll sort this out once we find him. Okay. What happened there... She tried to cast a spell. She's a wild mage, which means she's not in full control of her magic. So the spell went kind of wrong. And whatever she was trying to cast didn't actually get cast. And she ended up teleporting all the characters to different spots from where they were standing. So we all ended up scattered around. These three didn't end up anywhere different. Uh, Akendor, I don't know where he went. We'll see him later in the game. But uh, for now, I have no idea where he is. We need to get the mage. He's the threat. Get the mage. That called? The other, the other two guards are just regular fighters. They'll go down quick. Get the mage. Okay. The mage is dead. Go for the eyes, Go for the eyes, Whatever they need. 
runaway dino here. Okay, he fell asleep. We still want to attack him, though. Come on. Okay. Dino here is almost dead. Really, 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 really sorry about what just happened. I didn't want to involve you, but if I hadn't run into you when I did, they'd be elbow deep in my brains right now. What will you do now? Surely a Kandor will return at some point. Since you were kind enough to save me from those wizardly thugs, I was wondering if I could stay with you for a while. For your protection, as well as mine. I swear, I'm quite a skilled spellcaster. I can hurl a fireball like you wouldn't believe. Technically, she can't, because she is too low a level to use that spell. <laughs> uh, very well. Your company would be appreciated. Fantastic! Let me just get my... Well, nothing. I'm ready to go now. Alright, we have too many party members, so we need to remove Dinah hair. And Minsk will also leave. They wish my ear. Thou hast proven to be quite a leader. I shall look forward to when we can again call each other comrade. Come along, Minsk. All right, so they are going to stand there where they're standing now for the entirety of the rest of the game. We'll take this stuff. Um, Dinah hair is injured right now. I don't really think I don't think I can heal her. Yeah, yeah. Let's try. Okay, it did let me heal her. So good. We left them in pretty good shape. And we picked up Nira, who is one of my favorite characters. And she has Identify. So once we go to sleep, we can actually start using it. Um, and we are going to start using it because I want to know what all this stuff was. And again, I already know what it all is. But my characters don't, so... Oh yes, also, Nira came with a magical staff that she made herself. It's her staff, specifically made by her. Um, there's a 10% chance that either the wielder... Or the target... Yeah, the target or the wielder will take one extra point of fire damage. Um, I don't want her using it. I mean, I'm happy you made it, but I'm not going to let you use it because you don't have enough HP to go into melee combat anyway. I'm going to give this as a gem bag with gems in it. She already had some gems. I'm going to give that to our thief to put the, well, not these rings, but to put any other gems we happen to pick up in because I think it's better for a thief to have the gem bag than a mage. Gems aren't magical. Even those rings. Those rings are magical, but not the kind of magic that she would, like, use them for, like, spell components or something. It will be done. Anyway, let's go to sleep so we can get those identifies. You want some whiskey? Okay. To the best of my knowledge, she can't she can't fail and identify. Uh, wild magic has a... It's not a big chance. It's a slim chance of failing. When wild magic fails, uh, the caster will randomly cast a different spell of some sort. Um, it could be beneficial. It could be horrendously game-ending. I, if this was, if I was trying to do a no reload run, think of it like, like a Nuzlocke for Pokemon, don't take Nira. She will, I guarantee it, at some point in this game, kill us. <laughs> anyway, I don't think, at least I've never had it happen to me, that she can fail and identify. Like, I don't think if I push identify and she uses the identify spell, that she will uh, randomly cast something else. So let's see what this stuff was. Ring of Wizardry Ever Memory. 
It doubles the amount of first level spells that a mage can use. I specifically did that one first to give it to her. And now we can put more identifies on her when we go to bed. To identify the rest of our stuff. Anyway, let's identify this other ring. A ring of protection plus one. Just what it says, it, it's uh, better armor and saving throws. I'm giving that to me because it's worse if I die compared to every other character. Anyway, let's give the rest of this stuff to her. So we can identify it all. Alright, there's five things here and she only has four spell slots of identify. But I don't want to go to... I'll go to sleep again to get one more round of identifying. Alright. I'm gonna just not do the pants. Because <laughs> as I said, those aren't... We just have to have those on us when we beat the game so we can transfer it over to the second game. And when I say on us, I mean us. Not one of our party members. Okay, Tome of Leadership and Influence raises Charisma by one. I'm giving that to me, because even though raising my Charisma to 11 really won't make much of a difference at all, I'm the only character whose stats uh, transfer over. So giving it to mm -hmm. anyone else won't make any difference for the next game anyway. So my Charisma is now 11. Yes. Which does not give me any bonus over a 10. But, as I said, if I gave it to Emowyn, when we get into Baldur's Gate 2, her charisma would go right back down to what it is right now. So it would just be a waste. Baldur's Gate 2 is a lot longer than this game. I stand ready. Well, it doesn't have to be. But the way I play it, it's a lot longer. This is the next item I want to identify. Dauntless of the Dexterity raises your dexterity, uh, dexterity, dexterity to 18. Again, I'm giving that to me. Normally, I don't give this to me, because normally my dexterity is 18 when I do character creation. Normally, I um, would have 18, 18, 18, 10... Uh, this would be a dump stat, and this would be 10. Because I don't usually play Cleric, and Wisdom doesn't matter. <laughs> so I dump that down to as low as I can get it, so that I can raise everything up higher. Uh, but I didn't do that, because for the purposes of a Let's Play, I wanted a more balanced character. Alright, then we'll do this. This race is cold resistance. I'm just going to sell it. Because it also doubles the damage from fire. More enemies will use fire than cold. And this is just a helm of infravision. So it gives infravision. However, we have infravision already. Because I'm an elf. That's an elf. This is an elf. And this is an elf. The only person that doesn't have automatic infravision is Emowyn, and she can't wear a helmet. <laughs> it will be done. Because elves come with infravision automatically. I mean, I'm only a half elf, and that's only a half elf, and that's only a half elf, and that's only a half elf. That's fine. It will be done. Half elves infravision is good enough. We don't need full elf infravision. It will 
will be done. I can make whatever you wish for a wee little bit more than me competition. You notice it says he makes it for more than his competition? I'm going to keep one of these long swords to give to Khalid. Sell the gems in the gem bag, not the gem bag itself. Sorry, Nero, we're selling that too. It will be done. Okay, Nira. Uh huh. We want to get rid of. Do you still have an identify? You rang? No. It looked like you did. Okay, we're going to get rid of three of those and just make them magic missiles. Yes? It will be done. And I have one more quest I want to do today. It's not... Th this is Landrin's house. Remember, she had spiders in her house. We're not going to do that right now. We're gonna go on a quest for this person in this house. It's a hard to find decent folk nowadays. Ah, your old Garion's ward, the lonely kid of Candlekeep. Of course. I heard about the loss of Garion, and I must give you my deepest condolences. I hope since you left Candlekeep, you've kept up on your reading. Oh, the world of books. I have heard that a new copy of that wondrous tome, The History of the Fateful Coin, can be had for a pretty penny in one of the stores around here. If you would be so kind as to buy it for an old man like myself, I'd gladly reimburse you. I'd even give you a little bonus to help in your travels. It must be so hard with Garion gone. Okay. It will be done. The Which store is. that he was talking about is here. Right across hey, the street now, from his get house. Out. I don't like your type in here. <laughs> you tell him, Marl. We're just going to stand here and wait, because this guy will get sick of us being here, so let's let this play out. Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? Hey, I told you to get lost. Ain't no room here for you troublemaking strangers. If you say anything except for what I'm going to say, you will start a fight. Okay, not really. If you say, um, I'll just leave... It won't start a fight unless you don't leave. If you don't leave, it can start a fight. If you say anything else other than what I'm going to say, it will definitely start a fight. If you're playing evil, who cares? Start a fight, kill him. Um, if you're playing good, you shouldn't kill him. However, if you are playing good and you do kill him, don't worry. It will not result in a reputation loss because he starts the fight. And if another character is the one that starts the fight, you ending the fight doesn't hurt your reputation. Okay, no need to get all bent out of shape. There's plenty of bar for us all. Hey, I take whatever shape I want. I'm sick of you freakish adventurers going out, consorting with God knows what, and dragging your trouble back into my hometown. What do you say to that? I just do what I think is right. We solve a lot more trouble than we cause. Well, very nearly anyways. <laughs> oh, you think it's funny, do you? You mess up the local economy with your treasure. You upset the balance of nature. You flash your magic around, and because of it, maybe somebody's son thinks it's fun to go out and get himself killed. It's a bad example, and somebody ought to kick your butt for it. Family channel. Um, hold on. Everyone goes their own path, and I'll not be held accountable for what the fates steal. He was a good boy till your kind came through town. Filled his head with nonsense, they did. And because of it, he's dead. Now, why shouldn't I take that out of your hide? 
If you knew him like you think, then ask yourself if he wouldn't have gone anyway. It's a calling you're born with. Nobody gives it to you. Taint true. He was going to take over the farm and settle down. Maybe apprentice with Thunderhammer during the winter. He never wanted to adventure. That was what you wanted, Morrow. Fun's fun, but you're blaming those folk for what couldn't be helped. The boy was a firebrand if ever there was. No, he was settling down. He wanted... He wanted... That new plow you bought last year? He got the gold by helping clear, clear kobolds near Ogloth's beard. He wanted to make a difference, make the realms a bit safer. Just like these folk, most likely. By Chantea. Why couldn't he just stay home? The realms call when you go. He sounds a fine lad taken too soon, but doing what he was meant. If you'll suffer my company, I'll buy a round and toast his memory with you. It would be fitting, I suppose. To Kinnair Nettlin, rest ye well. I, I would be alone a while. Well, tis the calmest I've done seen him in a week. Still, best be moving along. Marl ain't known for his steady moods. Okay. Emowyn has leveled up, and we got 900 experience. If we had killed him, we would have gotten, like, a tiny amount of experience for the kill, and that's it. Emowyn leveled up. Let's see. Emowyn. Level up. She got 7 XP. Her lore increased by 3. And we can upgrade her thieving abilities by 25. I don't care about pickpockets. I do care about open locks and fine traps. Move silently and hide in shadows help you do sneak attacks, but I'm not going to ever use Emowyn as a sneak attacker. If, she, if I was playing a fighter thief, I would concentrate on sneak attacking, but as a pure thief, no. Um, so just open locks and fine traps. For now, I'm just going to put it all into open locks. Because I'm not going to have to worry about... I think I'll level up again before I have to worry about finding traps. I might be wrong. But I don't think I am. So anyway, she got 7 experience on that last... She could have gotten up to 8. So that was almost a max roll. Not anyway, let's go buy that book that they wanted. I got some cheap beer for ya. What do you have to offer? You have to offer this book. We bought the book. Some of this stuff is pretty good. Like, this is a plus one. It's just like that ring that I have equipped, except it's a necklace instead, if you want to use a necklace slot instead of a ring slot. Um, yeah. I forgot I didn't equip this. You'll see my armor class is going to go down to five, minus 5. And it also helps with my Thacko because I have a ranged weapon equipped. However, I don't want that equipped, so... <laughs> oh yeah, and this is for Khalid. That way he has two swords in case one breaks. Let's go hand in this quest. Not a problem. With ease. Don't walk away. Ooh, stand still. So hard to find decent folk nowadays. Ah, you are generous to an old man, so I will be generous in turn. Let me give you another book in exchange. It is a touch darker than what you have given me, but I get a sense you may enjoy it nonetheless. Good on you if you save the day. All right, so we got a reputation increase. We got a book. We got a scroll case and we got some experience. The only thing that really mattered there was this scroll case. In the original version of the game, he doesn't give you this scroll case, which is why he doesn't mention it. However, in the enhanced edition, they added this scroll case, which just like the gem bag, which also is not in the original version of the game, it helps with inventory management because it can hold all these scrolls, so it's not taking up so many slots. Because this is all we have for inventory. Regardless of carry capacity, you can't carry more 
items than this. <laughs> I'm going to try teaching some of these spells to Nira. She might fail learning on some of them, not because she's a wild mage, but because of ev every mage can fail learning spells. All right, she succeeded on that one. That one. She failed that one. We have another copy of it. Let's try again. She failed that one twice. And she succeeded on that one. I'm not necessarily going to use all these spells with Nera. Some of them I will, some I won't. But... It is experience learning those spells. What do I have her with? Alright, that's fine. So yes, we got the scroll case. We got the gem bag that we took from Nira. It makes more sense for her to have the scroll case. She's the mage. Mage spells or scrolls. Um, and it makes more sense for our thief to carry the gem bag. Shahira should carry the potions because she's a druid. Except for the potions that we're actually using. Actually. Yeah. You have one, you have three, you don't have any. All right, Khalid can take two. You can have one, you can keep the other one. What was this? Yeah, you keep that. Okay, everyone has a health potion. I'm going to call it there. Hopefully you enjoyed. See you in the next one.